Welcome back. It is going to be a beautiful weekend and we need to get out and enjoy it. Perfect way to do that, strolling around Grand Haven for the Merchants and Makers Chinook Pier Market, bringing together more than 100 makers plus food and music. Welcome to our friend Shia Lyons, she's a market coordinator. And then we've got artist Megan Altieri this of Sonder Articles with us today. Ladies, thanks for being here. Thank yeah, you for thank having you. us. All right, so tell us about this market. Yes, so you know, you've know. been, they're yeah. lots of fun. You get to shop with local makers who are creating their products artists and we also have great food trucks as you said so you should come hungry get something to eat um, there's live music with Elijah Russ so it's really we have face painting this time Ooh, okay so if there's something for everybody we've got great great items but it's just fun to get outside it's outside in a beautiful setting um, Chinook Pier in Grand Haven is right in the water and it's right on the way to the beach so there's just there's a lot to do right downtown Grand Haven yeah there you go and, and Megan you're gonna be there yeah um, I, I love what you do talk about this. This Thank is so you. interesting. Thank um, you. So yeah, for the last seven years I've been collecting overheard conversations from strangers and printing them on uh, thrifted clothing, um, all for the purpose of trying to spread empathy and create connection between strangers. Yeah. It is it's so neat. And then you've created a book. I mean, we see it right there yeah. um, of all of these pieces and kind of the backstory. So, I mean, talk about, you know, what made you decide that this was something you wanted to do? Sure. So the first iteration of the project was in 2018, an art prize, and it was all up along uh, the river on clotheslines. And viewers could sort of move through that space and ponder about what each of these, uh, the context behind each of the quotes. Um, and then it actually won for its category, uh, which was exciting. But then when we took it down, everybody's like, tell us more about these stories. So we realized the project had a lot more to give. So that's when we decided to create the book, uh, The Art of Empathy Through Eavesdropping. Um, and then from there, we created the Thrifted Clothing line, which has the quotes from the stories. And then when you purchase the pieces, the entirety of the stories on the tag. I love that. And yeah. the inspiration was um, just born from, uh, you know, about seven years ago, like I said, um, you know, 2016, that was a pretty contentious time for our communities and our, um, and our country, really. And I just really wanted to find a way to bring people together and help people see the humanity in one another um, through this practice of, of eavesdropping yeah. to, to try to just practice listening to one another. Right, well, we all have a story and some of them yeah. are, are really funny and whimsical and some of them are, are pretty serious. Yeah. I mean, it really runs the gamut and For it's sure. just so cool. You're like reusing these clothes and you're just giving them new life and new meaning, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it and you'll yeah. be there. And so talk about, yes. child, why it's so important to come out and support people like Megan and, yes. and, and be a part of this community. That's what's so beautiful is that there's a hundred people who have their own stories and their own reasons behind why they're selling what they're selling, even if it's something as simple as jewelry, which you think, oh, it's just jewelry, but we have people who raise money for nonprofits with their jewelry that they make. And there's just, there's always a reason and a dream behind each of the shops. So the opportunity to talk to the people in the booths who are making the products or who dreamed up this store, it's a really beautiful thing that you just can't get without being in person with them. Yeah. So you, of course, Megan's story is so cool. Yeah. I saw her thing at Art Prize and was was so enthralled by it and so now to have her joining it's just there's that kind of a story for each individual maker who's there yeah. so shopping and local is so important it, that's the truth too I mean you can yeah. I, I'll sit and have a conversation yes, with these exactly. people like go away yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to sell some things keep moving no no most everyone loves to share their it's story it's all about the connection yeah, yeah, yeah it absolutely. really is it's so special and it will be a wonderful weekend to get out and enjoy it um, mm -hmm. any nonprofit connection this, this so time so we had Kenzie's last time we Kenzie's and Momentum Center are two Grand Haven markets that we always are giving to okay. through our market so, so they're great places to help people in the community we always do love to help give back to the community so. I appreciate that yeah well, ladies thanks so much for being here have a wonderful weekend you want to get out there it is tomorrow mm -hmm. at Chinook Pier in Grand Haven 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. you want to learn more about all of these shows all over West Michigan merchantsandmakers.com or follow them on Instagram we'll be right back